Independence or protest? Showered demands an end to bad leadership in Nigeria. On the Nigeria 64 Independence Day, people filled the streets with Omoyele Showere at the front shouting for change and at the end to bad leadership. But will this protest really make a difference? Let's explore what happened and see why it matters for Nigeria's future. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving deep into a significant event in Nigeria's history, the 64th Independence Day protest led by activist Omoyele Showere. This year, citizens took to the streets not just to celebrate independence, but to demand an end to bad governance. What foiled this protest and what does it mean for Nigeria's future? Let's break it down. Before we jump in, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Stay updated on important stories like this one. This year, protest aired on October 1st was not just a celebration of Nigeria's independence but also a powerful statement against the ongoing challenges facing the nation. Omoyele Shoure, a prominent activist and presidential candidate, took center stage rallying citizens to demand accountability for their leaders. The mood was charged as Nigerians voiced their frustration over corruption poor infrastructure, insecurity, and the rising cost of living. Many protesters held placards that read messages like, enough is enough, we deserve better. This year, independence means more than freedom from colonial rule. It signifies a demand for a government that truly serves people. Shore's passionate speech resonated with many as he highlighted the failures of successive governments in Nigeria. He called for unity among citizens, urging them to rise above political affiliations to fight for a better Nigeria. In his speech, Shore stated, We are tired of the suffering. We want a government that prioritizes the people over personal interest. His words ignited a sense of urgency among attendees, echoing the sentiment that change is not only necessary but overdue. Social media has been buzzing with reaction from both supporters and critics of the protest. Many young Nigerians, particularly those in urban areas, expressed their support online, sharing videos and images from the event. The hashtag end bad governance trended on platforms, amplifying the message beyond the streets of Nigeria. However, there were mixed reactions from political figures and some media outlets while many praised the peaceful nature of the protest and the determination of the citizens. Others dismissed it as mere noise without actionable solutions. So what happens next? The protest is just one part of a larger movement calling for a significant reform in Nigeria. With upcoming elections and increasing political awareness, Many believe that this momentum could lead to real change if citizens continue to engage in activism. But the path ahead is fraught with challenges. With the government not listening or with the government listening to the demands of the people? Or will this be another instance where voices go unheard? The answer remains to be seen. But what is clear is that the call for change is growing louder. And that's a wrap on today's coverage for all the Independence Day protests led by Omoyele Shore. What are your thoughts? Please put that in the comment below. And the current state of governance in Nigeria, do you believe in the voices of the people that it can lead to a reasonable change? Let's discuss this in the comment below. Thank you.